The Commentary Booth is a show for media lovers by media lovers just like you. If you want to support the show, go to pariomagazine.com.au. Um, the other thing you were watching was a hundred foot wave. I started it after you said you were going to watch it. And, wow, those guys are nuts. Yeah, crazy. So that's a um, hundred foot wave off of, you're watching on Binge, from memory? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so it follows the story of um, Garrett McNamara. So he's a, a Hawaiian big wave surfer who pretty much ended his career and had given up on the surfing scene um, and ha had opened a surf shop up and was just kind of doing day to day, changed his mind, realized he really wanted to follow big wave surfing as his career. Um, and they ended up being the first person to really publicly surf Nazare, which is uh, a big wave break in Portugal. It's the one that most people would have seen um, in the, there was a recent video where a guy was surfing. It was well over a hundred foot that way, which is like 32 meters of wave, um, which like when you think about surfing, people kind of underestimate the power of and the weight of the water when it hits you. I think when I was reading the actual force that that wave has behind it, if it landed on you, it's the equivalent of having 1300 Volkswagen Beetles land on top of you. Ow. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a crazy, crazy wave and the way that it breaks normally in places kind of like, um, there's Mavericks in the United States is big wave stop. There's Jaws um, in Hawaii, which is the one that people would normally see with the helicopters flying over in Hawaii. Those places come off on reefs where there's massive, massive waves that are coming in, sort of pushing upwards of sort of 60, 70, 80 feet. But there's always a channel where you can see it. And that's where the boats always are. And people take the videos from things like that. And you're safe in that channel. Nazare in Portugal comes from really deep and they do that the, they do a really good job of explaining it I think and how it breaks. explaining it how from, yeah and it comes yeah. from quite deep it comes up but then it breaks onto basically what is a beach break which is just sand moving around uh, and a headland and it's very very unpredictable so I mean it's hard to be rescued there um it's hard to be safe there and the waves are far bigger there if you ever get the chance to see I can't remember his name, but there was a guy that was pushing 150 feet. Like, and it was, it's crazy to see that tiny little surfer on that mm. giant wave. And they're doing kind of upwards of 100 kilometers an hour on a surfboard that's just bouncing the whole time with that wave behind them. It's terrifying. I like it's, yeah, it's nuts that they do it. Yeah. Like the, they did a really good job of explaining how that wave breaks. Like the water comes up through this canyon, which is super deep and bigger than the grand canyon they were saying and because it comes in from so low and gets like filtered through this channel it gets faster and faster and then it hits the end of it just kicks straight up and i think they're saying like it's the equivalent of like an eight-story building and like that when they said that i was like well that puts into perspective yeah just how <laughs> big these waves are yeah and, and then, if you come off it's like life or death like literally life or death and that's if you you got to hope that you don't get injured. It's been a big thing in surfing for probably the last oh, five to 10 years. It's, it's gone from everyone started toe surfing so they could surf these giant waves. And I think the hard thing is once you get past a certain height, it becomes nearly impossible for you to paddle onto those waves. Um, yeah. but just because, like you said, the speed that they move at. So there was a very, very big stage where people were just exclusively towing into waves. The, the jet skis got better. The technology for the vests got better. So they have um, basically life vests that are kind of protective. Uh, and if they get double hold downs, and they're, they're under there for quite a long time, um, and they go quite deep when they get held down, but they have a little like a rip cord, and it can open gas fires and they get kind of floated back to the top. So the risk at the moment is that a lot of people have a jet ski and can buy the technology to try and save themselves, but they don't necessarily have the skills to surf the wave or survive the hold downs. So they're getting quite a lot of people that just shouldn't be out there crowding up places that shouldn't be crowded. Um, mm. There's yeah, accidents with jet skis going over the falls on those waves and then the jet ski rider gets stuck at the same time, plus the jet ski could hit you. So yeah, it's a, it's a really big thing surfing at the moment that 
the people have kind of pushed back towards paddling into those waves. So I think that'll be the next thing you see is people really trying to paddle into bigger and bigger waves because it's a bit more respected than being towed into. But that doesn't take away from what Garrett McNamara and all those guys out there do. It's insane. And if you haven't seen it, definitely something that you should see to just take in what they can actually do on a surfboard. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just the vision is crazy and, like, just the, the danger too. Like, they were talking about how that particular break, it, like you said, it doesn't break consistently in the one spot backwards and forwards. Like you'll have one wave over here and then the next one will pop up coming this way, the opposite side. And yeah. they just yeah, rear up not. out of nowhere. And then <laughs> the, like the jet ski, because they have to go into that whitewash, it has no traction when it gets in there in like the foamy stuff. And you see a, a moment where he's trying to rescue someone and he's clearly pulling the throttle and it's just in foam and not moving it's just like uh oh there's a wave coming and we can't we can't move like what are we gonna do yeah crazy I mean, stuff that guy is an absolute weapon of a surfer so it's crazy the bit to me where he took his his girlfriend his wife out and then she came off and nearly drowned like <laughs> yeah like the one of the first days that they were there and from that moment she was like um i'm just gonna sit on the cliff and be the yeah. the spotter and call stuff out for you like i'm not going back in there that's too scary she won't even oh, go out there on the jet ski you never get any, me near anything like that going out there, but what a cool place to be able to go and, and watch it. Like that headland at Nazare is just insane. Like the whole town and, and the way they talk about the town and how it's kind of sprung back to life a bit from the, the tourism element of the big wave surfing is, is quite cool too. And the town helping him become that sort of uh, first surfer out there as well. Yeah, for the, like, the council and everything to invest in their project and getting the Nazare put on the map as a, a tourist location because of the waves was pretty cool. Um, and like, like you were saying with the power of the waves, like even if you go down to the local beach, like two foot wave, like when that hits you, like, oh yeah, hang on, there's a lot of power <laughs> behind this wave. And so a hundred foot wave, no, thank you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's scary when you think about it. It's yeah. Some really bad things can happen out of it. So. Well done, Garrett. You can keep that to yourself, I think, mate. I'll watch you on TV. <laughs> yeah, no, no, thank you. That's all, all yours. <laughs> the Commentary Booth is a fan-funded production of Jamie Apps Media. You can support the podcast alongside our magazine, Pario Magazine, on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Jamie Apps Media. The following people supported at the community support group level or higher and you cannot fathom how incredibly appreciative we are for their support. Blake Robinson, Brian and June Hart, Courtney Paulson, Darren Hatcliffe, Jackson Carr, and Tracy Apps.